We come to gradient map. For this problem, we are asked to solve for the radius of the circle. And it is given that there is a 20 unit hole on the left of the circle left portion and on the right portion there is an 8 unit cord and their distance between the two cords is 12 and actually this is a problem I already solved but today we are solving this with the horse cord theorem okay so first thing that we have to do is we need to label the distance on the near the 20 unit cord we just label this as x and we label this distance near the 8 unit cord as y so next step is we apply the cross cord theorem for the 20 unit cord this one 20 unit cord 20 unit cord and the diameter okay so we have here 10 times 10 is equal to x times 12 plus y. So simplifying, we have 100 is equal to 12x plus xy. And we let this as our equation number 1. Next thing is we need to focus on the 8 unit cord on the right side and the diameter. Okay, so if we apply the cross cord theorem, we have 4 times 4 is equal to x plus 12 times y. For simplifying, we have 16 is equal to 12y plus xy. That will be our equation number two. Okay, so next step that we have to do is we need to subtract equation two from equation one. So 100 minus 16 is equal to 84. And 12x minus 12y. And xy minus xy cancels out. Then we have 84 is equal to 12x minus 12. But we can factor out 12 and leave x minus y on the parentheses. And we can divide this by 12, both sides. So we have 7 is equal to x minus y. And we can say that y is equal to x minus 7 okay so knowing y as x minus 7 we can simply replace this y by x minus 7 and we can again apply the cross curve theorem for actually any of these two chords the left and the right but we will choose the right chord and the diameter so we have 4 times 4 again is equal to x plus 12. This chord, x plus 12, multiplied by x minus 7. And if we simplify this, we have 16 is equal to x squared plus 5x minus 84. And if we put 16 onto the right side it will become 0 is equal to x squared plus 5x minus 100 and if we solve this quadratic equation by the quadratic formula we have x is equal to negative of 5 plus or minus the square root of b squared which is 25 minus 4 times 1 times negative 100 and over 2 we have now x is equal to negative 5 plus and minus the square root of 425 
Hello bird. Two. But 425 can be written as. This can be written as. Uh, 25 times 17 square root. So we can say that this is equal to x is equal to negative 5 plus or minus 5 the square root of 17 all over 2. So we have two answers here plus and minus but actually we are going to use only the negative 5 plus 5 square root of 17 all over 2. Because if we use the negative part, the negative sub negative part, it will become a negative distance and it is invalid. So we have to only use this. Okay, so next thing that we have to do is we now find the radius. The radius of any circle is equal to the diameter over 2. Okay, so the radius is equal to, but the diameter, if we consider the length that we have here, it is simply the sum of these distances. So the distances are x plus 12 plus x minus 7. And that is to be multiplied by 1 half because it is the radius. And x plus x is equal to 2x plus 12 minus 7 is equal to 5 plus 5. Okay. If we simplify this, we have 2x times 1 half is actually equal to x plus 5 halves. Okay. So this is the expression for the radius. So since we know x, radius is equal to x, x which is negative 5 plus 5 square root of 17 all over 2 plus 5 halves. So r is equal to, we can actually put this in a single denominator which is 2. And negative 5, just copy this. 5 square root of 17. And this we copy only 5 because they have the same denominator. So 5 and negative 5 cancels out. And it leaves us the radius to be equal to 5 square root of 17 all over 2 units. And that is our answer, same as the answer we got from the previous video. And the link is in the description. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you, if you liked our solution. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.